Hello, Scott from Lockhart's Odyssey. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install the batteries in a heat advisor on a BD2S helmet. Now one of the reasons you probably want a heat advisor on a BD2S helmet is just to ensure fog-free riding in any weather condition. The BD2S helmet is a great helmet on its own, but with the heat advisor you just get that little extra protection. Okay, so when we get started, you will notice that in your uh, kit that you have a small tool and you will need that to remove the helmet screws without marking them up. You will also need the batteries for the light, which we will replace. And another good thing to have would be a side cutters and also a small flashlight to see in the helmet. It is dark in there. Okay, so the first thing we'll open up is the heat advisor itself. So with the heat advisor, you obviously get the visor, and then it should come with a cord set. Now there is a small cord in here that you will need to install inside the helmet. It is this one here with the cable tie. We will need to install that inside the helmet with the shield. Okay, so the first thing to do, obviously, is to remove the old shield. So grab your tool and just unscrew counterclockwise. Now on this side, be aware there is a clear plastic washer right here. You do not want to lose that. This always has to go on the right hand side of the helmet. Okay. Now we will take the old visor off. It comes off fairly easy. And you'll notice here, there is an O-ring. Uh, be sure not to lose the friction O-ring in there as well. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do before we install the shield, since we have the helmet almost all the way apart, is we're gonna put the batteries in. So the first thing you'll do, you wanna take the jaw piece off. It makes everything a lot easier to work with. An easy way to do that is to open it up, take your thumb and just push it off and it will come off just like that. And then you'll want to remove the left cheek pad. So to remove the left cheek pad, you just get in there. You can see, you pull it forward like this. Pull the back forward towards you. Okay, and it catches right in there. And then what you can do is just move it off to the side. And then you'll have lots of room there. Now the batteries are in the back here. So to get at them, you just pull the liner back. And there's the battery tray and you just pull that out just like that. And there is the battery tray there. Now to put the batteries in, make sure that the strap is down for easy removal of the batteries when they do go dead. Here we go. And now you can test the button out before you stick the, uh, the helmet back in, or the batteries back in. Yes, we do have a light. Now insulation is just basically the opposite of taking the tray out. So to put the tray in, put the flap in there like that and just push up in there. And then replace the helmet liner by pushing, pushing it in all the way around so it sits in there nice and flush. Okay, so that is installed. Now we can go ahead and install the electric visor. So the first thing we have to do is take the visor. It always comes with the cord wrapped through this hole. You'll just want to push that back through. And now we'll prepare to put this cord through this small hole here. Feed it down in through. And then, like I said, you'll want to push it towards that screw. Now, try to feel the wire coming through on the inside. There we go. I have it here. So, there's the wire through. 
Okay, now what you do, just set this on top, leave this wire dangling here, okay? Now we will have to put this small wire in, connect it to that, and then it will have to stick out on the bottom there. So what I like to do is I will pull this up a little bit, the cable tie, I will bend this over like that, makes it a lot easier to work with. And what you want to do is feed this part of the cable tie through the loop here in the strap. So we'll try to do that here. I'll try to get it so everyone can see what I'm doing. So just like that, you want to do it up, not too tight, but just enough that it holds right there, just like that. And then you can take your side cutters and cut the piece of cable tie off. Careful not to cut the wire that you have already installed. Okay, just like that. Now where the wire has to sit on the bottom, you'll just undo this Velcro, put the wire through, Velcro that back up. And that's where your plug-in for your sled will be. So now we can go ahead and reassemble the helmet. Now, this you'll want to remember to put the O-ring in. And then make sure you do put the washer on first and then the screw. Put the screw in there, tighten it up. Now, since you've got it all together, we can tighten it up a little bit more on both sides to connect the wire. So you'll want to remember to connect this wire in here. So these two ends, we just plug together. If you can see that there, okay. Just plug the two ends together. And you wanna tuck that up just onto the left side of the helmet, just underneath there, so it's out of the way. Now we will put the cheek pad in. The cheek pad goes in, you wanna put it in the front first and you wanna connect catch it just under this tab here and then push it back so we can catch it just under the tab and then push it back just like that and there it is just like that there and you can make sure we still have a light on the back with the button there now to put the mouth guard on the mouthpiece you just push it in and I use my thumb to click it back on there and then close it up and then there's your heat advisor on your BB2S helmet. That's the install of the BB2S helmet for the electric shield and the batteries. Now if you do buy an electric shield from us and you want us to install that, we will install it for you for free. Um, just bring your helmet in with you, we can do it on the spot doesn't take us too long. Also, we can install batteries for you if you like. If you've already bought a heated shield and you're finding it a little bit too difficult to install, bring it on in. We can uh, install it on for you. Um, also, if you're having any issues with the U2S helmet and you need some parts, bring it on in. We can get you fixed up. Um, again, if you're looking to buy a BB2S helmet, we do have lots of stock. You can come in the store. Um, we do have them on sale right now. And also, if you want, you can shop in the comfort of your own home. Uh, you can shop online through our website. It's lockhartsodyssey.ca. Again, thanks for watching. My name is Scott from Lockhart's, and I hope you enjoy writing.